anomaly deck profile. It is incomplete, and I'll say the ratios of the cards that should be played. Anyway, starting off, I play two Chronomaly Soul Monolith. This card can target one other Chronomaly monster on your field and make it level 6. Then I play three Chronomaly Moai. If you control a Chronomaly monster, you can special summon it. I play two Chronomaly Tula Guardian. Its ability, as long as there's a field spell in play, you can special summon it once per turn. And then you can only control one Tula Guardian. Then I play three Chronomaly Wing Sphinx. It the Wing Sphinx's ability is when when it's normal summoned, you bring back one level five Chronomaly monster from your graveyard. Then I play two Chronomaly Nebra Disc, which you can special summon when 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 you normal summon, you can add a Chronomaly monster from your deck to your hand, except Nebra Disc. And if it's in the graveyard, and all Chronomalys you control or all monsters you control are Chronomaly. And then you summon it from your graveyard, but you can only use Chronomaly cards effects during the turn you do that. And then I play one Mud Golem. Its ability just gives all Chronomalys piercing. Then I play three Chronomaly Aztec Mask Golem. Mask Golem is a free summon when you activate a Chronomaly spell, but you can only summon it like that once per turn. And you can only control one Aztec Mask Golem. Then I play three Chronomaly Golden Jet. Golden Jet's ability is you, once per turn, you can increase the level of all Chronomaly monsters you currently control by one. Then I play two Chronomaly Cabrera Trebuchet. You, its ability is to contribute one other Chronomaly monster to then make one of your opponent's monster's attack points become zero. I play two Crystal Bones, but I should be playing three. It's a Cyber Dragon effect that lets you summon a Chronomaly monster in your hand when summoned by its own effect. But it just doesn't let you summon Chronomaly Crystal Bones. And then I play one Chronomaly Crystal Skull. And then it is the starter of the deck, if, as long as you control a Chronomaly. But it lets you search for any Chronomaly except itself. Then I play one Gordian Knot. I should be playing three. But you normal summon it, you special summon a Chronomaly from your hand, and then it becomes that monster's level. Then I play three Chronomaly Technology. Oh yeah, moving on to the spells. I play three Chronomaly Technology. Chronomaly Technology lets you target one Chronomaly monster in your graveyard, you banish it, look at the top two cards you deck, add one of them to your hand, send the other to the graveyard. But you can only activate one Chronomaly Technology per turn, but you're not allowed to summon any monsters except Chronomalys during the turn you use that effect. Then I use three Chronomaly Pyramid Eye Tablet. This is just a spell card that increases the attack of all Chronomalys by 800. Then I play one Rank Up Magic Numeron Force. This lets you summon one number monster that, or one Chaos number that has one rank higher than the monster you use, you, you target with it. But then you negate the effects of every other face up card in the field except for Numeron Force and the monster you summon with it. Then I play one Monster Reborn. And then to finish off the spells, I play three Chronomaly Stonehenge Methods. Or Stonehenge Methods. I play three Chronomaly City Babylon. I cannot read or remember correctly. This is sad. Basically, once per turn, you banish a Chronomaly monster from your graveyard and bring back another Chronomaly at the same level. Then, for the traps, I play three Stonehenge Methods. Basically, if a Chronomaly you control is destroyed, you special summon level 4 or lower Chronomaly from your deck in face up defense position, and it cannot change its battle position at all. If I. The changes I make to the deck is I would be playing. Probably take out the Sphinxes and Stonehenge methods for one Crystal Bone, three or two Crystal Skull, and two Gordian Knot. I don't. I think I would reduce Gnarly Technology to two. And then for the extra deck, and this is all before Links, so I still need to update the extra deck. But as of right now, it's one number seventeen Leviathan Dragon. 
Number 47, Nightmare Shark. Chronomaly, Crystal Chrononaut. Number 36, Chronomaly, Chateau Hoyuk. Number 50, Black Ship of Corn. Number 41, Baguska, the Terribly Tired Tape here. Number 19, Frizodon. Number 33, Chronomaly, Machu Mech. There is another version of this deck that is played. There is a Chronomaly OTK that uses this card. Dark Road Shackles, and a 3,000 or higher Kaiju. You Kaiju your opponent, you equip it with Dark World Shackles, you summon this, deal, use its ability to deal damage to your opponent equals to the change in the Kaiju's attack points. Because Dark World Shackles decreases, changes its attack points to 100. So if you use Jazuki or Thunder King, that deals 3,200 points of damage, and then Chronomy Machu Mech gains 3,200 attack points. Number 12, Crimson Shadow Armor Ninja. 1, number 61, Volcasaurus. 1, number 14, Greedy Saramea. 1, number 21, Frozen Lady Justice. 1, Dragulus the Vampiric Dragon. Number 24. And I play 1, number 6, Chronomaly Atlantis. And then 1, Chaos, number 6, Chronomaly Chaos Atlantis. That and that is it for the Chronomaly deck profile. If you have any ideas at all that can improve this to make it a bit more competitive, besides using hand traps, please feel free to leave comments in the or leave a suggestion in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I am sorry for all of my mistakes in this video. Bye.